A couple of weeks ago, we met Wembley FC, a team down in the ninth tier of English football who play their home matches literally in the shadow of Wembley Stadium. You can see the Wembley Arch from the halfway line where Wembley play. Unfortunately, they did get knocked out of the FA Cup, so we're not going to be following their journey from Wembley to Wembley. That was the real dream, but... The story was too good for me to just leave it there. So although we'll be carrying on watching our winner stays on teams throughout the FA Cup with the match day vlogs this season, starting tomorrow, in fact, where we follow Bearstead against Southall. So keep an eye out for that one. But we've got to do a little bit more with Wembley. So I thought, well, what would happen if we moved Wembley FC into Wembley Stadium and changed nothing else, really? Would that be enough to see them rise up from the ninth tier and maybe become a major power in English football? Only one way to find out, isn't there? So here we are then, folks. Wembley FC, who, as you can see, now play, if I can click the right button, out of Wembley Stadium. 90,000 capacity, all-seater Wembley. That went, you know the one, Big Wembley. They now play there. We have had to tweak one other thing to actually make something happen because if all we do is move Wembley FC to Wembley Stadium, they still carry on just getting like 50 people turn up and nothing really happens. So the other thing I've had to change in the editor, if we just go in and have a little look, is the club attendance. So not only are Wembley playing at Wembley, they are filling Wembley. The club average attendance 90,000 minimum attendance, 90,000 maximum attendance is even higher. So theoretically, they should be filling ish Wembley every week. They're not going to completely fill it because I imagine there's not many clubs in the ninth tier of English football who will take the full away allocation that they'll have to give them. So I expect we'll be 80,000 plus in attendance for every match. You can see. The club have already sold 22,000 season tickets by the 4th of July, which does have an impact on the finances side of things as well. If we have a look at what's happening on the finances, even with just those initial season tickets sold, they've gone from no bank balance to over half a million pounds off of bank balance. So there, it should theoretically have an instant impact because they're a club that now have way more money than anywhere else in the combined counties league Premier North. The media think they're going to finish third, and I don't think third is enough for promotion. No, it's one automatic, one playoff. So they're going to have to invest this money wisely, and it's just going to be... I think it's going to be interesting to see what will happen. If you also think it'll be interesting, make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on for more stuff like this, plus my daily Let's Play videos as well. And of course, leave a big thumbs up on the video to let me know you want to see more stuff like this here on the channel. I'm new to this experiment stuff, but I'm enjoying it and want to do more. So um, let me know the kind of things you'd like to see me do down in the comments section. But I think for now, all that is left to be done is holiday forward a year and see what happens. Well, there we have it. One year in and they won the combined counties league premier north in style. Seven points clear of the nearest rivals. Um, let's see how much money was spent on transfers. I mean, no actual transfer fees spent, but lots of players accumulated on free transfers, not necessarily from massive clubs, picking up a lot of players who were available on free transfers. But if we have a look to see what the attendances were like last year, um, you can see first home game in the league of the season, 85,000 and it has pretty much stayed solid at that level all year long um, which should have had quite the impact on the club finances so if we just dip in here have a look at the finances they have got what's that 14 million pounds in the bank and a transfer budget for the new season of 12 and a half million pounds and a wage budget of 95,000 pounds per week which is Huge for this level of football. Let's see if they're throwing money at any players on big salaries. I mean, their highest paid player, Emmanuel Obama Kimwa. Um, I think he was here. He was actually here at the start. So rather than throwing money at new players, the thing they've done, first of all, this summer is reward their, their one real player that they had 
at the start of the save with the biggest contract in the history of the football club that there are a few other players who are starting to pick up like League 2 level salaries. They're not necessarily League 2 level players, but I guess as long as they're better than the other players at this kind of level, it's obviously enough for them to have won the league. So they've not gone mad. There's three big contracts, another eight or nine still too big for this level decent size contracts and then a few youngsters on quite cheap money have they gone professional they have gone professional so that's another thing that's ticked over with the amount of money in the bank that they've got the club has gone pro and now find themselves in the Isthmian league division one central for this coming year no money's really been spent on facilities the facilities still absolute trash apart from of course the corporate facilities but all in all, positive stuff for Wembley. They're up to tier eight. Can they do it all again and keep charging up the leagues? I mean, with the amount of money they've got, they definitely should be able to. But Football Manager AI sometimes has other ideas. So season two hasn't necessarily gone to plan. A 16th place finish. Um, never really in a relegation battle, but also never in any danger of getting promoted either. If we have a look to see if they've started spending any of that £12 million, they absolutely have not. And still just collecting players. I said the club reputation might be a problem, and it looks like it is because the, the calibre of clubs that players are being signed from, not necessarily the level you would expect with the amount of transfer money that they've got to spend. In fact, the, uh, the only cash transfer that's happened during the entirety of the first two years was them loaning out a young player. There's even more money in the kitty. £23 million now sat there. A transfer budget still of £12.5 million, And the wage budget is now £164,000 a week, which is absolutely enormous. That's that's like league a good League One club level of money. They're not investing any of the money in facilities still. They need to buy some players. I think we're going to jump forward a couple of years now. Uh, maybe even three years. We don't want to be doing this one by one, season by season. We'll be here forever. But let's go Let's go to the five-year point and let's see where Wembley are after five years of playing at Wembley Stadium. Well, they got relegated again the next season, <laughs> which <laughs> I'll level with you. Wasn't anticipating. So relegation. So the next season, um, I guess back down to... Whence they came, so back down to the combined counties league north, which, to be fair, they did win easily again. Back up to the Southern League, um, Isthmian League thing that they got relegated from that season and finished 16th. So they're back in Tier 8 after five years of playing at Wembley Stadium. Four favourites for promotion, but for whatever reason, things just aren't working out there's been several youth and training facilities upgrades even though nothing seems to be happening yet it looks like the foundations are being laid tendencies are down to thirty-seven thousand now so they are starting to drop so we're going to give them a boost back up to maximum attendance again so you can see they're just dropping every year they've gone from eighty-five thousand season one down to 76 75 down to 45 now down to 37 so that's probably going to have an impact on the money although there still should be more than enough money for this level so there is now a bank balance of what is that 34 and a half million transfer budget of 23 and a half million and wage budget of 280,000 so there is plenty of money knocking around the place reputation doesn't seem to be growing morale isn't great but facilities have gone from all the ones to seven seven four and two so there should be some better youth players starting to come through we're now boosting attendances back up to 90,000 again. So that's going to have an impact on the club finances again. They're still not actually spending any money on transfers, which I think is very much a club reputation thing. So part of me wonders whether we should be giving the club reputation a boost because obviously in real life, if they went to play at Wembley Stadium, they're going to get a reputation boost. But I'm kind of interesting to see if the, if the attendances and the money itself is enough. I'm sure we've all seen these experiments where people start and do similar things to this in the National League North and South, but starting this deep in the pyramid is the money enough. And at the moment, five years in, 
Po possibly not. Let's go another five years and see what happens then. And it looks like Wembley are finally starting to make a little bit of progress, albeit painfully slowly. We are 10 years in to them playing at Wembley Stadium and they've made it as far as the Isthmian League Premier Division. If we have a look at how the last five years have gone, um, you can see that was the year they were relegated back down to the Counties Leagues um, and then back up to Isthmian League Division 1 South Central for four years before finally winning it. Um, and it looks like a couple of years ago, they very, in fact, last year, very nearly winning promotion again. So things are starting to move in the right direction. Finishing third, I mean, it feels like there might be another promotion in the near future for Wembley. His reputation has gone up a little bit. You can see club average attendance still around 90,000. There's now £62 million in the bank and a £42 million transfer budget. Wage budget of 600,000. Facilities have gone up again. My word, they're paying some salaries. Let's just have a look at trans. They're still not spending money. They did a £5,000 transfer there. But on the whole, they're still not spending money on players. And they're still only signing players from the leagues around them. Still not able to attract players from the National League, the Football League, promising youngsters. This is still a bunch of nobodies that I've never heard of. Um, but they're paying them like league one championship wages so five more years in and as you can see Wembley are in the national league south let's have a look to see how they've got there um so it looks like they've literally only just got there so they had a little bit of a relegation after after getting very close to promotion finishing third in the Isthmian league premier division they then got relegated the next season took them two years to come back a second and a first place finish uh, but then once back in the Premier Division, a sixth place finish. And then last year, finishing as champions in the Isthmian League Premier Division, which means Wembley are now in the playable leagues. 15 years in, 15 years of playing at Wembley Stadium. And finally, they've made it to the National League South. Let's have a look to see how attendance is doing. They have dropped massively. So we are going to give them a little bit of a boost back up again um, just to just to continue pushing Wembley forward. In fact, it looks like they started to fall almost immediately after the last update. So we were 85,000. I guess the relegation didn't help. Um, so they stayed around the 75,000 mark that season. They were in the Premier Division, um, but then the relegation attendances just collapsed, fell in half, and they've never really recovered, even with the, uh, the promotion and the title winning season. So now they've had another promotion. Let's boost them back up um attendance wise yeah that's that's fallen in half that will never do you can see reputation has had another little boost though up to 17 38 finances they're actually falling only 41 million pounds in the bank i mean i guess they've not had the same kind of income but what on earth are they spending it on um nearly 40 million pounds in the transfer budget over half a million in the wage budget facilities have actually declined since the last update probably because they've got a little bit older so if we check on the landmarks um we did have a new chairman takeover I, I wonder if the old one took some money with him but the last time facilities were updated was back in 2031 so six years ago so they are starting to decline now they've got the best player in the league dan challoner the goalkeeper is the best player in this league released by Coventry so again this is the kind of player you would be expecting Wembley to sign so they've got the best goalkeeper in the league um that is the only player who's on the uh, who's on the best players list but he is the best player by quite a long way so I wonder if he'll stick around or if they'll sell him Hartley Paul and Portsmouth want him he's under contract for one more year right we've boosted attendances back up you know the score by now Five more years. And as you can see, they've only made it as far as the Vanarama National League. They, uh, It just doesn't make enough of a difference having all of this money, it seems. If we look back at the last at the last five years worth of performance, you can see that they did uh, jump up to the Vanarama National a couple of times. 
leading to relegations. They've been there, established for the last few years now, including a second place finish last year. They were they were this close to making up making it to the football league by my deadline. So I feel a little bit harsh in the circumstances with them getting 87 points, pulling the plug here. So I think we're going to do a very scientific leave it to holiday overnight tonight and see where we are in the morning. I don't know how many years will have passed in that time. Um, but if we have a look at attendances, um, they are, they've fallen again. So let's give them one more boost. This is the, this is the, oh, look, the re reputation's growing as well. This is the final boost. If they can't do it on their own from here, there's no helping them. They've got what? 77 million in the bank. 57 and a half million transfer budget loads of spare wage budget facilities have jumped up again so they've done something facilities wise and um, there you go they improved the youth and the training facilities there let's see what the media think they're going to do this season they are favorites for promotion well i'm just leaving it here they're favorites for promotion they've got one of the best players in the division which is jerome durkin who we've already looked at um, MK Dons are in non-league, so that's a happy situation. I reckon overnight we could get 10 or 15 years in. We're really going to see where they might end up. But 25 years to still not make it into the Football League. Well, it turns out my computer can get through some seasons overnight. We are now another 30 years in the future. So 55 years after the start of the experiment. And as you can see, Wembley have made it to the championship. Let's see how they got here over the course of the last 30 years. So we left things off just there with them just finishing in second place in the National League. And uh, it looks like it took a couple more years to get out of the National League going up through the playoffs two years later. They only needed two seasons in League Two, a mid-table finish, and then up as champions. And then one season of struggle in League One, finishing 18th before three consecutive top four finishes, losing out in the playoffs twice before going up automatically in second place. And since then, it has been getting on for 20 years as basically a mid-table championship club. Um, so it turns out if you give a team Wembley Stadium and 40 or 50 years to play in it, eventually they'll become Coventry. So that's, so that's good. I guess. Let's see what attendances are like these days. Um, you know what? They're still getting around 75, 80,000 in the championship, which does boggle the mind a little bit as to how they've never made it to the Premier League with those kind of resources. If we have a flick back through what they're doing in transfers, I mean, they spent 12 and a half million that year, but sold 54 million pounds worth of players. They're... Uh, they're never spending massive, are they? More often than not, it's a net profit on the spend. They have a couple of years here and there where they throw some money around like those two, but it's usually after they've had some profits come in. Let's have a look at the club finances and see exactly what's going on there. So they've got all the money under the sun to play with. Like, what's that? 200, nearly 300 million pounds as their bank balance. Um, a transfer budget of nearly £50 million in the championship. Massive wage budget. Their facilities have bumped up and been improved again. So that's something they've gradually worked through. Club reputation has had a huge boost. Over 6,000 on the club reputation now. If we have a look and let's... Can we filter this to facilities? We can. Um, so since that last time they were upgraded, they've been upgraded twice more. They've not touched them for a few years now. So with the amount of money they've got in their kitty, they probably are due an update to the club facilities. They've only got good training facilities and good academy coaching. They could probably boost that up a little bit. But let's have a look to see what kind of crazy salaries they're paying as a, as a mid-table championship club. I mean, there's some players on a few quid there. They still don't have an absolutely massive squad, um, but obviously they are, for 20 years or so, established at this level. So they are paying some... Pretty decent salaries. I do wonder why they kind of just got stuck with the amount of money that they've got. I guess, who knew? It turns out if you move a tier nine non-league club and put them in Wembley Stadium for 50 plus years, 
they do eventually start climbing up the league and accumulating some cash. I tell you what, it took a lot longer than I thought that it would take. If you enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on it for me. Let me know down in the comments what other experiments and things you would like to see. I am enjoying being basically a football manager scientist now and doing all these experiments. So going to do plenty more of these. So subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on for all that kind of stuff. And don't forget to watch the Let's Play stuff midweek as well. And a match day vlog coming out tomorrow from the next round of the FA Cup. Maybe we'll find an experiment to do with Bearstead. Maybe that'll be a thing with the FA Cup series. But thank you very much for watching. Toodle pip.